Can you hear that? I mean, that. You heard it, right? I'm not going crazy. Yeah, you heard it there. Definitely heard it. That there is my old school lens auto focusing on my Nikon Z6. Now, unfortunately, I've had to stick my 24 to 70 lens on my gimbal right there, and I can't take it off because I screwed it on too hard, and that's my problem. But the reason why you can hear it is because my audio is being recorded through a shotgun microphone. One of the Rode Video Micros, very similar to this little guy, or in fact, exactly this little guy. And that has been recording my audio on all of my videos, probably since I started my channel. Haven't really thought or felt the need to upgrade. And pretty much up until now, I thought it was doing a good job. However, in cases like this, I'm stuck. I need to record clean audio, but all you can hear is clicking, 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 clicking. Now, yes, shotgun microphones are great for these sort of run and gun situations and general sort of day to day use. But in other circumstances, such as a studio like this, where I've got a little bit more of a controlled environment, I can be a little bit more choosy with the type of microphone I use. So. I thought, let me go on the old Google and have a look and see what else is out there that could fulfill my needs as an all-round microphone. Now, of course, there's a whole world of specialized microphones out there that you can use for this and that and there and where and whatever. But what I'm interested in is finding a microphone that can do it all. And I think I may have just found one. Fine, fine, yes, it's fine, fine, clearly. I've been told, I've checked it, and I've double, triple checked it, it is actually pronounced fine, fine. But it's spelt fiffiny. Now, I don't see myself as needing the most top of the line creme de la creme equipment that is available out there. If I really wanted that, I could go off and spend thousands of pounds and find the perfect gear for the perfect job but sometimes I want to find something that's budget and that also ticks the majority of my boxes and gets the job done to a good level while still not breaking the bank I mean ultimately yeah filmmaking is great and photography is fun but the gear is expensive and in any way that we can save money I'm gonna do it so this here is the Fine Fine K690 microphone. This is a condenser microphone with four pickup patterns. Yes, four pickup patterns. And this is what I was talking about, a microphone that can do it all. Now, if it can, I will be thoroughly impressed because I paid 70 nine pounds roughly on Amazon at the time of purchasing this. I know the prices can go up and down on Amazon all the time, but it's approximately under a hundred pounds. And if you're in the US, it's gonna be under a hundred dollars. And for a microphone with four pickup patterns, that's a condenser microphone, comes with a tabletop stand. Can I really complain? I don't know, let's see. So the unboxing experience, I mean, comes in a pretty nice box with a little sleeve on there that can go somewhere over there oh sorry just take that oh it's quite nice and then you've got this foam padding and i've already taken the microphone out and tested it before recording this video that's why it's not here i should have thought about that before recording this part So I've actually already unboxed this microphone before and tested it out before recording this video. So that whole unboxing process was just for the camera. 
But let me just show you what comes inside the box when you purchase a brand new K690 microphone from FineFi. You've got the microphone itself that comes with the legs installed already and with this whole swivel mounting tightening knob thingy mechanism. You also get a USB cable. Now this is about seven feet long, uh, seven foot long, I don't know the plural of it, but I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. Um, but it comes with a USB-A to micro USB adapter. Now this is all you're going to need to connect the microphone to your computer and use it. Power, data, audio, everything all through this cable. You also get a very little handy adapter set. Now it's nice of them to include these little extras like this uh, because I do actually find these super handy when I'm trying to mount different things on different stands and don't have the adapters or the adapter rings to do it so nice to have that thank you very much fine fine. Now I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about build quality of this microphone before we go any further. It is actually remarkably well built. Um, a full sort of metal frame on the microphone, the cage, the stand itself is all really well built and then the knobs they just feel good there's a nice bit of resistance to it there's a good sort of click feel to each setting whenever you're changing it and even the mute button on the back just feels solid it's got a nice sort of heft to the press so they have really thought about the sort of user experience of this microphone when they made it it does feel really really well built and again we're talking sub 100 pounds for a microphone that feels this good. I'm not complaining yet. So why this microphone in the first place? Why would I choose the Fine Fine K690 above the Blue Yeti or above any other microphone out there? Well, it comes down to one very crucial point. As a microphone, you want it to do as much as possible, as good as possible, for as little as money as possible. And the K690, has four pickup patterns, which means I could use it for voiceovers, I could use it for podcasts, I could use it for conference meetings and things like that, or even face-to-face -face interviews if I really wanted to, because the microphone has the ability to pick up in all those different patterns. But enough about all that, let's get down to how it sounds. Okay, so I have the microphone here set up, connected to my computer, it was super, super simple, just plugged it straight in, the computer figured it out and just said yep this is the microphone you're using lovely say thank you so and of course I need to monitor my audio so I've just basically plugged in my standard headphones just to see what it's like now I want to really really test out the four different modes that this microphone boasts to be good at and see if they are really uh, up there and up to scratch with some of the other microphones in this class so I really want to see if I can potentially use this as a daily driver microphone for my voiceovers, for my podcasts, a sort of one-stop shop for everything that I need it for. Unfortunately, I do have a very, very busy street outside my window. There's not much I can do about where I live, but this is where I live. It's London. It's busy bloody everywhere, so you can't do much about that. But I'm going to do my best to try and talk as much as I can and see if you can still hear the background noise uh, over my vocals and if you can then of course that then shows how good or bad this microphone may be. So the mode that I'm talking on right now is the stereo mode. The stereo mode is using all three of the uh, microphone pickups to create a stereo output or stereo experience. So left, right and I can hear that clearly in my headphones. I'm talking about six inches away from the microphone and um, if I really wanted to I could get a little bit closer. The microphone is set at half uh, volume so I could kick that up a bit more if I really wanted to as well uh, but then I risk picking up unwanted noise and uh, well background ambience that I don't really want. So now I've just switched it to the omnidirectional mode. This is the mode where all three microphone pickups are trying to get everything around at an equal uh, exposure to, to sound. So right now this is my voice on the omnidirectional mode. In my personal opinion it sounds it sounds omnidirectional. I feel like I'm not getting any focused sound from anywhere. You can hear a little bit more of my uh, laptop in the background, a little bit more of the ambience. The voice isn't as warm as it is in the stereo mode. Um, I feel like there's a little bit more treble. The bass is kind of cut off, but then that kind of makes sense because it's trying to get an even amount of everything. And here we have the cardioid mode. This is the mode that most people are going to be using 
when they're using a microphone like this by themselves. So this would be your sort of voiceover mode where you're focused on just your vocals here. Now, people who are doing streaming, people who are doing voiceovers for work or for videos, essentially, will be using this mode. And I can tell straight away, you can hear the characters enunciated really, really clearly on this microphone when I'm listening to it directly. Uh, through my headphones. The voice has gone back to being a bit more warm compared to the omnidirectional mode and I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of the mid-tones coming out in my voice. Uh, the highs and treble not as much but that kind of makes sense because for a microphone like this you don't want too much hissing and you know, really, really high notes coming through because that's just going to cause you a nightmare when editing and you have to do that for all of your audio clips. So I actually quite like that they've kept the highs a little bit subdued and kept more mid-tones and given it a little bit of uh, the lower end. That's really, really good for voice. Uh, a lot of people tend to get voice really wrong and put voice all the way up to the top of the spectrum and really cut off the, the, the lower end. But nowadays, you know, you're finding that with voiceovers, you want a little bit more warmth, especially from the, the male voice tones and things like that. So definitely a good thing that they've kept this tonality for the um, cardioid pickup pattern. And now we have the bi-directional mode. So this here is in case you wanted to conduct some sort of an interview or something where you know you'd be you and someone else talking either in even a podcast so this is a great mode if you don't have two microphones for a podcast but you wanted to do a sort of face-to-face -face recorded podcast this would be a great idea so this is me talking from one end and it would be picking up the same volume from the other side of the microphone so this is essentially like the stereo mode that i tested first flipped around 90 degrees so this is in case you ever want to use uh, this as a podcast microphone or an interview microphone this would be a great setup for that uh, again i don't necessarily see uh, you know much of a difference of having this as a stereo versus bi-directional it's essentially to me the same but i feel like the stereo mode tends to merge both of the pickups together whereas I believe the bi-directional bi mode tends to separate them uh, and mutes the other side as much as possible. So I just wanted to test out one more one final thing as well which is the vibration test. Now especially with mics like these yes you can mount it to a microphone uh, stand if you wanted to or a boom arm if you wanted to but I've got it set up on a desk and I believe a lot of people doing such things will also have it just sitting on a desk now having it on a desk you risk things like having your microphone pick up vibrations and things like that so I'm just going to give it a little thump on the table to see if I can hear any vibrations picked up from the uh, microphone Now that's not much, it's not picking up that much from the table. Yes, you can hear me banging on the table, but it's not picking up the vibrations. I'm just gonna try and hit it on the actual stand itself to see if that's gonna pick up anything. Right, so yeah, that of course, as expected, you're gonna get a little bit of vibration, but again, this is expected when you hit any sort of uh, microphone body it's gonna pick up certain vibrations how well it manages those depends on how well the insides of the microphone are set up and if they've got their own sort of vibration reduction built in so uh, all in all I have to say that all four different modes work really really well I do like the tonality of all different modes uh, I would prefer some of the other modes to have a little bit more warmth but I can understand why they've not kept that warmth there. Of course, they're trying to give an overall atmosphere. Makes sense. You don't want to pick up too much low end. But on the modes that where they are focused on voice pickup and vocals, the tonality is great. Uh, you're getting almost like a very sort of muted sort of podcast style microphone, but without too much high end. So overall, I have to say the pickup patterns are great. They do what they're supposed to. Uh, so that's a massive, massive plus for this microphone being a sub 100 pound or dollar microphone that you can pick up with four different pickup modes. So there you have it. 
my full in-depth review of the Fine Fine K690 microphone. This is a very, very capable microphone and to be honest, there's not much else that I could demand from it for that value. And I hope this video hammers in the fact that audio is just as important as the video on screen. Any part of a video that is assisted by good audio, whether that's a sound effect or vocals, will just be that hundred times better than if you had bad audio. So I've made my choice. This mic will be my new daily driver for voiceovers and my podcast. My podcast is launching very soon, so keep an eye out for that. But definitely check out this microphone, the new Fine Fine K690. I love it. I'm going to keep using it and uh, goodbye shotgun microphones for my videos. So again, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would mean a bunch. And of course, comment down below. If you do have any questions, I'll answer them as best as I can. And don't forget to share the video and drop a like if you liked it. Well, that's me done for now, guys. I hope I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace. a lot of dust flying around in this room today. Where'd all the dust come from? I need to dust. I've got an idea. Just the thing to dust with. Now, don't judge me here, but it does the trick. Dead cat is what I like to call it. It's a neat little duster. Although, now it's just letting off more dust.